I would like to demonstrate an experiment related to anomalous expansion of water. I have taken an ice tray and you can clearly see marks here on the tray. I will fill this tray with water up to this mark and will keep it in the refrigerator overnight. You can clearly see children here that I have filled the tray up to the level which is marked only. So I will keep this in the refrigerator, in the freezer and let's see what happens tomorrow morning. I have now taken out the ice tray from the freezer and you can see clearly that ice formation is complete. Now you observe that the volume of the ice so formed it is definitely greater or more than the volume of water taken. Which means that the expansion took place in place of contraction on lowering the temperature. This unusual behavior is shown by water only between the temperature range from 0 to 4 degrees Celsius that means from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. One more important thing I would like to show you just now. Now there is an ice cube I have taken and if I drop it in water you have observed that it always floats. This happens because the density of ice is now less than density of water. The reason is that that during the formation of ice or when the ice was forming the volume was increased due to anomalous expansion of water. So that is why density decreased and this is the reason why icebergs float in water. All substances whether solid liquid or gases they expand on heating and contract on cooling that means they show thermal expansion phenomenon and same happens with water also there are three types of expansions linear expansion that takes place in solids superficial expansion that also takes place in solids and the third one is cubical expansion which is observed in liquids and gases. Now water being liquid shows cubical expansion. It expands when its temperature is raised and contracts when its temperature is lowered. However, some unusual behavior of water is observed below 4 degree Celsius. It has been found that water starts expanding below 4 degree Celsius and this process continues till 0 degree Celsius at 0 degree Celsius, water starts freezing. So basically, between the temperature range from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius, water does not follow any law of contraction or expansion. The temperature is lower from 4 degree to 0 degree Celsius. So instead of contraction, water expands. This happens because of the presence of hydrogen bonding between the atoms of water, atoms or molecules of water. A similar behavior is shown by some more substances like silver, iodide and silica. They also show this unusual behavior but at different 
temperature range. So let us understand deeply why this anomalous behavior is shown by water and what is the application of this behavior of water in our real life. We know that density is mass upon volume and when you supply heat to any substance then the volume of the substance increases because it expands but the mass of the substance remains the same, it is constant. So as per this relationship if mass is constant then density and volume are inversely proportional to each other. Which implies that if, dense, if the volume of a substance is increasing, then the density will decrease provided the mass is constant. Similarly, when the body will contract, then the volume of a substance will decrease and density will increase. Here again, mass remains constant. So that is the theory of expansion or contraction. Now let's see what happens in water. If we assume that water is initially at is at 6 degree Celsius. And now we are decreasing the temperature of water. So what will happen? Water will contract. So on decreasing the temperature of water, let's say now the temperature of water is 5 degrees Celsius. Then because the temperature is falling, therefore the volume of water will decrease and density will increase. So this is what will be observed here. Volume will decrease and density will increase. On further reducing the temperature to 4 degrees Celsius, we will observe that volume will further decrease and density will increase and hence we can say that the density of water at 5 degrees Celsius is less than density of water at 4 degree Celsius. This I am talking about the density. Or we can say that out of these three temperature we will find that the density of water at 4 degree Celsius is maximum. It is more than 5 degree Celsius density of water at 5 degree Celsius and it is even more than density of water at 6 degree Celsius. So density is increasing, volume is decreasing. Now on further reducing the temperature, water will now start showing the unusual behavior known as anomalous expansion. Now if the temperature is made 3 degrees Celsius, then instead of contraction, volume of water will increase. And whenever volume increases, density will fall. It will reduce. Hence, the density of water at 3 degrees Celsius is less than density of water at 4 degrees Celsius. On further reducing the temperature, similar thing will be observed. Volume will further increase. Density will be further reduced. 1 degree Celsius, volume increases more and density reduces again and at 0 degree Celsius, the volume becomes maximum because it is continuously increasing and density becomes very less. So out of this entire explanation, if we want to sum up, what we will conclude that we can conclude that the water at 4 degrees Celsius, the density 
of water at 4 degrees Celsius will be maximum. Above 4 degrees Celsius density was less than this value. Below 4 degrees Celsius density further reduced. So this is the temperature when we get the density maximum. That is the conclusion which may, we may draw from this entire explanation. And density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is found to be 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kilogram per meter cube. At 0 degrees Celsius, the process of ice begins, the ice formation process begins. That is the process of freezing starts and hence we can say that the density of ice is less than density of water at any of the temperature and therefore you will always find that ice Floats in water. The topic is variation of volume and density of water below 4 degrees Celsius. And these are the two graphs. We have assumed that water is initially at 10 degrees Celsius. So, if I consider the volume temperature graph, when the temperature of water is reduced, it is brought below 10 degrees Celsius, then water is contracting and the volume is decreasing. On the other hand, the density within this temperature range is seen to be increased. Now, the process continues till 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, the volume is minimum and the density is maximum, which is shown here at the peak. And the value of density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now, if you look at the next temperature range from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius, on further reducing the temperature, the volume is increasing. That means this is the temperature range when water is expanding instead of contraction. It is showing expansion and volume is increasing and therefore the density is decreasing. So these two graphs depict the variation of volume and density of water specifically below 4 degree Celsius and therefore they show the graphical, this is the graphical representation of anomalous expansion of water below 4 degree Celsius. Anomalous expansion of water is a blessing to marine life. In cold areas, the temperature of water in ponds, lakes, oceans, etc. start falling and goes down to 4 degree Celsius in the winter season. When the temperature of the water on the surface falls below 0 degree Celsius. Now what happens? As soon as the temperature of the water goes below 4 degrees Celsius, it starts expanding and being lighter or we can say that since the density decreases so it does not sink down and thus the temperature of water at the surface uh, cools down to 0 degrees Celsius and uh, or below and forms ice. So if the atmospheric temperature is minus 1 degree Celsius then the temperature here is maintained at 0 degree Celsius and below this 
level the temperature of water is maintained at 4 degree celsius now ice being poor conductor of heat so it prevents the flow of heat from water to the atmosphere and therefore the temperature is maintained at 4 degree celsius so under the ice there is dense warm water at 4 degree celsius and this protects aquatic life during winter season there are some more applications of thermal sorry of anomalous expansion of water in winter season the water supply pipes often a uh, sorry open to the atmosphere often burst when the temperature of the surrounding fall below 4 degree celsius this happens because water expands below 4 degree celsius and exerts pressure to the walls of the pipes and this causes the pipes to burst and damages it because of the same reason plants die because their capillaries burst when water in them reaches below 4 degrees celsius and they expand and therefore it is advisable to water the plants or the fields in the evening In the rainy season a lot of water sweeps through numerous cracks and holes of rocks or in the rocks when the temperature goes below 4 degrees celsius then it expands and therefore it develops a high pressure on the surface of the rocks and results in the breaking so these are the few applications of anomalous expansion of water seen in our daily life let us now quickly recapitulate what we have studied so far in this chapter we began with the concept of heat and thermal energy and then we moved on to the definition of heat which says that it is the transfer that takes place energy in transfer to or from a body by some mechanism and this transfer takes place only when there is temperature difference then we moved on to the concept of temperature it was told that average kinetic energy of a of the particles of a substance decide the temperature the greater the average kinetic energy the more will be the temperature and vice versa then you were introduced with the concept of thermal expansion d which is density is equal to mass upon volume so if mass is constant density and volume are inversely proportional to each other therefore when water goes below 4 degree celsius the volume increases but the density decreases hence water has maximum density at 4 degree celsius which is 1 g per centimeter cube then you were taught about the two graphs volume versus temperature and density versus temperature graphs both of them show an opposite behavior because density and volume are inversely proportional to each other